Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we get set for the championship game of the Missoula Mavericks and the Lewis and Clark Twins, two familiar teams playing for the 2019 Maverick Memorial Tournament Championship game. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. The Lewis and Clark Twins, the designated visiting team. Brayden Turcott leads off at second base. Batting second and at shortstop is Tyra Tyson Wallace. Coy Stout is in right field, batting third. Dawson Bonfield holding down first base, batting fourth. Batting fifth and in left field is DJ Ricard. Dalton Hart is the pitcher, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Austin Colt, he is the catcher. Jose Barajas is your third baseman. <laughs> batting in the number eight spot and Mason Daniel, the center fielder. Dalton Hart is the pitcher, as I mentioned. For the Mavericks, it's Brendan Hill leading off, leading off for, 13, for the Mavericks Brady. in center field. Dane Frazier's in right field. Batting second, batting third is Terad Richardson. As we get set for our first pitch here. Stuart Long is the shortstop. And Long is batting in the number four spot. First, first pitch is at 68 degrees is our game time temp and a first pitch at 342. Don't go too far with those because I need them. And first pitch is in for a strike. Second pitch in for a ball by Dylan Chalmers on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Bridger Johnson in left field, batting fifth as we'll get ball two from Dylan Chalmers, two and one. Drew Stensrud is the designated hitter, <clears throat> batting sixth. Batting seventh is Andrew Klassen, the catcher, as we get ball three from Chalmers. Zach Hangis holding down first, batting eighth, and batting ninth is the second baseman, Dayton Bay, and dilly dilly, Dylan Chalmers on the five Valley Auto pitcher's mound. And a smack into right field puts Frazier on the run, and we've got one away to start the game. The Turcott. Uh, well, lots of wind this afternoon as we had a calm morning, but now the winds decided to jump out there and come up. So Tyson Wallace will come to the plate. And the foul ball will come back into the netting for strike one. So the Twins moving into the championship game after a win over Walla Walla. This one's banged in the left field and Johnson will have to chase it down. Wallace will load up with the first hit of the game. The right fielder number 25, Coy Stout. Takes us to Coy Stout. With one on and one out, Stout has two home runs on the tournament. He knocked one over the fence against Walla Walla earlier today. Chalmers, though, will take it right at him for strike one. So the Mavericks earning the bid into the championship game after a win last night over Centralia that had lots of drama. The Twins making the number three seed, playing in the two and three seed game before this one as Chalmers will slice it back across the plate for strike two. 0 oh and two on the count. Runner at first steps away in Wallace. Chalmers with the stretch and set and a check swing. They're gonna say he committed and that will be strike three for the out. The Are your the officials Austin, for today's game? Behind the plate, it's Darren Badu. Don't call me Badu. Badu, don't call me Badu. And Nick Yonke in the field. 
Chalmers will deliver ball one to Bonfield, the lefty. Bonfield, the first baseman. Chalmers with the set right away, and he goes outside for ball two, two and oh on the count. Here's the pitch. Swung on, and Bonfield will have strike one, two and one on the count. So for Dylan Chalmers, he is the ace for the Mavericks. Throw to first. A 6'1", 190-pound right-hander, recently graduated from Sentinel High School. Here's the pitch. Bonfield bangs it foul, and we'll have strike two, two and two on the count. For Chalmers, he is the ace pitcher. Once in a while, once in a great while, Hathaway will let him play defensively. As this one rolls up, the toss to second, and that is the side. So the Twins, they load one on, but the fielder's choice knocks them out. We go to the bottom of the first right after this, scoreless. When your workout window is small, you don't want to travel far. Wait for parking and hope for an open machine. Let fuel, fitness, and nutrition ignite your life with no waiting. Fuel has plentiful parking and 30,000 square feet of weight and cardio training equipment. When you want it, you'll get it at Fuel. Businesses don't hesitate to sign up with Fuel. We have enough parking and equipment to handle your entire staff and 24-7 access so they can get in shape around work schedules. Ignite your life with no waiting at Fuel, Fitness, and Nutrition in the Holiday Village Shopping Center. MPSN is back to live stream the Montana Legion Baseball AA and State A tournaments this summer. Join us live from Billings, Montana for the State AA tournament and Florence, Montana for the State A tournaments July 27th through the 31st for all the play-by-play -play action of every game. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to sponsor the coverage of the games on MPSN, please send us an email. MPSN, Legion Baseball's home for the 2019 Montana State Legion Baseball tournaments. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at Lindbergh Craig Field. Championship game for the 2019 Maverick Memorial Tournament with the Lewis and Clark Twins and the Missoula Mavericks. Two familiar foes facing off for the championship. The Mavericks, this is the second tournament of the season that we've lost, that the Mavericks have lost a game on the opening and made it to the championship game as the Mavericks would lose to Vauxhall in the Maverick Memorial Day tournament and then face Vauxhall in the championship. This time it was a loss to Walla Walla on the opening night who is out in the number three spot. So the Twins and the Mavericks play for the championship as the leadoff batter, Brendan Hill, comes to the plate. Dalton Hart delivers ball one. We want to take a moment and say hello to all the Maverick fans tuned in to watch the game and our friends in Lewiston, Idaho, watching, supporting the Lewis and Clark Twins. Hello, everyone. Pitch on the way. Swung on. This is over the second baseman's head, and Brendan Hill will load up for the Mavericks to lead off the game. The right fielder, number seven, Dane Takes us Frazier. to Dane Frazier for the Mavericks with a runner at first and no outs. Now, the first three batters for the Mavericks are part of the home run club. Brendan Hill leading off. He's got an in-the-park home run for the Mavericks. Dane Frazier leads the team with two home runs. And Trad Richardson, who is in the on-deck circle with a home run as well. Here is... Frazier's first pitch and he'll see a strike to go 0 and 1 on the count. Oh, I guess I'm behind. 1 and 1. Nope, I was correct. And Frazier lays down the bunt. The throw to second is over the head of Wallace. Hill grabs a gear as the center fielder is not able to pick up the ball. And that'll put runners on the corners for the Mavericks. The third baseman, number 13, Brad Base hit. Richardson. So they will mark it as an error. So 
So with Frazier at first and Hill at third, that takes us to Trad Richardson. So Richardson will look at one and one on the count. No outs, runners at first and second for the Mavericks. Richardson now waits for the pitch from Hart. And Richardson finds the hole on the line drive. Hill tags at third, and the Mavericks will jump on the board first. One nothing. Runners at first and second, no outs. Brings up Stewie, Stuart Long, for the Mavericks, the shortstop. And Long settles in. Here's the pitch, and bunt showing for Long. This one will be bounced fair. They're gonna say in play, nobody at first to throw to, and that'll load up the bases for the Mavericks on the bunt. We also wanna take a moment here to say hello to Amy Richardson, Trad's mom, as she's on the road this week. We'll see her in Rapid City at the end of the week. She's in Gillette, Wyoming, watching while she's working. Here's the pitch, and it comes inside for Bridger Johnson. Ball one. Second pitch comes over the plate for strike two. One and one, or oh and two on the count. And Kolb having to wrangle it up brings up ball one, one and two on the count. Bridger Johnson with loaded bases, no outs. Here's the pitch by Hart. And Johnson has contact, but it'll be a foul ball for to keep it at one and two on the count. Loaded bases. No outs, here's Hart with the one and two. Foul ball, keeps it at one and two. <clears throat> Badeau points to the mound and the pitch. Foul ball down the first baseline and we might have to call that one foul 2.0 as Mosier not able to grip it. We stay at one and two. Brian Mosier, the first base mo coach for the Mavericks, as this one's fouled off once again to keep us at one and two. Brent Hathaway is the first base coach, third base coach for the Mavericks in his 29th season with the organization. Here's the pitch, and it's in low for ball one, or two and two, I should say, on the count. Pitch on the way, and this one is blocked by Cold to bring up a full count at three and two. Pitch on the way, and it's thrown behind Johnson. The walk will bring home Frazier, and the Mavericks now lead 2-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. That brings Moyer out to check in with his pitcher. In the game before this one against Walla Walla, it was DJ Ricard that started out on the mound and things got rough right away for Ricard as Walla Walla would earn four runs. They'd bring Stout in from right field and Stout would finish out the game for the most part. Wallace would close it off. And Moyer out there checking in with his pitcher as the Mavericks keep the bases loaded with no outs. Takes us to the designated hitter, Drew Stenzer. Here's the pitch. 
And it's over the plate for strike one. So whatever Moyer said, connect it. Here's the 0-1. And it's low for ball one. I received word just as we were going on that the Mavericks, all three clubs for the Mavericks are playing in a championship game today. As Stensrud bounces this one to the shortstop, the throw to second on the fielder's choice, down the line to first, and the double play is turned. As two runs, as one run scores. And two outs on the double play. And Claussen bangs one foul to start off with. Claussen now patient as we move to one and one on the count. Hart delivers, ball two, two and one. So Claussen in the number seven spot for the Mavericks in the order as he bounces this one over the pitcher's head, picked up by the shortstop, a rocket to first, Bonfield sticks the bag and that's three, but not before the Mavericks earn three of their own. It's 3-0, top of the second coming up after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Warning, warning. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning, warning. This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Larchmont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the second inning. Mavericks lead 3-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. For the Twins, it's DJ Ricard to lead off. Five, six, seven batters. As Dilly Dilly, Dylan Chalmers stands on the five Valley Auto pitcher's mound. Here's the first pitch of the inning and Chalmers connects over the plate for strike one. Chalmers, the ace for the Mavericks, graduate of Sentinel High School. Pitcher is his main duty with the Mavericks as we get one and one on the count. For Dylan Chalmers, this is his third season with the Mavericks. Before that, he spent time with the Laramie Rangers as this one's delivered over the plate for strike two. One and two on the count for Ricard. And Ricard will step out of the box. Other sports that Dylan does is indoor track. As this one swung on, contact keeps the batter alive at one and two on the contact. Dylan Hart in the on-deck circle and Austin Kolb in the hole for the start of the game. Here's the pitch, foul ball into the parking lot. One and two. Chalmers a Dodgers fan. His hobbies, magic tricks and hiking. I still have yet to have him do a magic trick for me. I have to remember that when we go to Rapid as this one's fouled back into Claussen to keep Ricard alive at one and two. <clears throat> Chalmers, foot on the rubber. The Mavs wearing their brand new bright white shoes if you cannot tell. As this one's fouled back in and Hart continues to battle. One and two. Pitch on the way. And we'll go two and two as Badeau will say ball 
on the count. Here's the pitch, swung on. This one's lifted down the third base line and Richardson gloves it up for the out. The pitcher number six, Dalton Hart. Favorite thing that Chalmers' mom makes is spaghetti and well, I was told by Mama Chalmers to be specific about that, it's spaghetti with meatballs. As I mentioned this when she was listening in on a game before. Foul ball by Foul ball by Dalton Hart brings up strike one. And another foul ball back at us for strike two. One out, nobody on. Top of the second. Mavericks lead 3-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. And a pitch as over the plate as Badeau will rip on the chainsaw for the strikeout. The number 22, Austin Cole. Two away. Austin Cole now the catcher for the Twins. Chalmers delivers upstairs for a ball. And I don't imagine we'll see Chalmers too long here as the Mavericks have conference games coming up later on this week. A reach. Bay chases it down, the throw to first. Hanga sticks the bag, and that's the side. One, two, three for the Twins. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Why not head to Paradise Falls after the championship game tonight? Paradise Falls. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Coming this summer, Milk Crate Media 406 will be the home to a new group of local podcasts to highlight our great state of Montana and the people within it. Starting with a local show to promote Missoula sports athletes. Next, a podcast that will take a look at world views. Then a show that will entertain you while informing you about Montana's great outdoors. And finally, a podcast that will take a look at the people and places that make Montana great. Stop by mcratemedia.com to see the full line of new podcasts. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the second inning. Mavericks lead 3-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. It's Zach Hangus to lead off. Bottom of the order, 8-9 batters. Hangus and Bay on the schedule. Dalton Hart. On the five, Valiano pitcher's mound for the Twins. So Hangus steps up. And Hart ready for his first pitch of the inning. Hango steps in and we're ready to go. Pitch by Wallace. Outside, ball one. So Hangus at the plate. Roller out to the second baseman, picked up in the dirt. The throw to first is high, but Bonfield sticks the bag, and that's one away. Second baseman number one, Dayton Bay. Takes us to the bottom of the order to Day Day, Dayton Bay, the bunt killer. Bay to settle in. One out, nobody on. Breeze picking up here, as you can hear it on the mic. Outside for ball one. So as I mentioned, the Mavericks have conference games this week and then it's a road trip to Rapid City as a foul ball will come off for strike one for Bay. Wednesday night, doubleheader against the Billings Royals. MPSN will be there for the coverage. First pitch is at six as Bay rolls this one down the third base line. Third baseman bobbles it, they're gonna say foul. And we'll have strike two, one and two on the count. And then Thursday night will be a single game against the Royals in Billings, both Wednesday and Thursday in Billings. Then it's a travel day on Friday, 
And then we get into the Rapid City Tournament. This time it will be to the third baseman. He'll bobble the throw to first and Bay will beat the ball. So they are going to call it an error on the third baseman. Number three, Brendan Hill. Swings us to the top of the order for the Mavericks. To Brendan Hill. As we've got our first error of the game. Actually, there's two against Lewis and Clark now. Brendan Hill. At the plate, he singled his first at bat. Pitch on the way, and he'll let it go by for a ball of one. Hill steps back in. Dane Frazier in the on deck circle. Pitch on the way. Swung on. I heard some contact on it. Regardless, it's going to be strike one. Bottom of the second, Mavericks lead 3-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Dayton Bay at first. Here's the pitch by Hart. Bay is going to go. Bunt laid down. It'll be foul, and so Bay will have to head back to first. All right, battle in there, Brendan. You got it. 0-2. Oh Hill steps back in. Hart gets the pitch. Now the stretch and set. Outside, Bay's going to go, and the throw is made. The tag is there, and Bay <coughs> is caught stealing at second. Pitch thrown was a ball. So with two outs on the board, it's 2-2 two, two on the count to Hill. And Hill gets tagged, gets the free base. Hill just runs down the line, and that brings up Dane Frazier for the Mavericks with two outs and Hill at first. Then the Mavericks will be in Rapid City from Wednesday, or Saturday through the 4th for the Firecracker Tournament hosted by Post 22 Rapid City. The Hard Hats, good group of people. Hill's going to go, and Frazier gets tagged in the back. That's back-to-back -back hit by pitches to load runners at 1st and 2nd for the Mavericks. And that will bring in Wallace to check in with his teammate, Hart, on the mound. Bam Bam, Trad Richardson at the plate now for the Mavericks with two outs and runners at first and second. Richardson singled his first at bat. Here's the pitch by Hart. It'll bring up ball one. <clears throat> Richardson with a single his first at bat here's the pitch and the runner's going to go Hill gets there the tag and they say safe runners advance it'll be 2-0 and oh on the count Two and zero oh to Richardson. Two outs, runners at second and third. Hill at third and Frazier at second. Pitch on the way. Richardson lifts this one. It's a line drive. Center fielder can't get to it. Hill will score. Frazier grabs the gear as he gets to third and Frazier will score, sending Richardson to second. And the Mavericks will earn two runs to make it 5-2 as I missed one earlier on the scoreboard. I apologize, folks. Oh. 
So Richardson at second as Stuart Long comes to the plate and the first pitch to Long is ball one. Long a bunt to reach on his first at bat. Here's the pitch. Ball two to Long. The stretch and set. Comes in, ball three to Long. So Hart. With the stretch and set. And it's a strike pitch to bring Hart into the count at three and one. Hart with the pitch. Swung on, this one's lifted into the gap. The right fielder tries to get there and it'll hop right between right fielder and center fielder. Long will make his way to second as Terad Richardson scores for the Mavericks. Number 10, Bridger. Makes it 6-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard and it's Bridger Johnson. Oh, and we've got Jimmy Compton in the house with his sons, part of the Mud Dogs Little League team. Here's the pitch and it's inside for ball one. Compton coaches the Mud Dogs team, I think at the U-12 level. As it's upstairs, his oldest son Chris playing with the program as well as his youngest son. I don't think his youngest son plays with it at his level. Two and zero oh on the count. And the pitch by Hart. Swung on, third baseman, it bounces before it gets there. The throw to first and Bonfield will stick the bag. That will leave one behind, but the Mavericks score three and it's 6-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. We'll be back with the bottom, top of the third right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the third inning. Mavericks lead 6-0 on the fast trip conical scoreboard. It's Jose Barajas. For Lewiston as Chalmers will have the pitch delivered in. Picked up by the shortstop. The throw to first and Hangus will stick the bag. And the ground out will be the first out of the inning. Center fielder number 15, Mason Daniel. Bottom of the order now for the Twins. Mason Daniel, one off, nobody on. Dylan Chalmers on the five Valley Idol pitcher's mound. Here's the pitch and a foul ball will lift it up for strike one. Now Chalmers, if the Mavericks want to use him later on this week, will be held tight on his pitch count as this one is punched up high. Hangus is short, has it in the glove and that is the second out. Two away. Brings us to Braden Turcott, the top of the order for the Twins. Two outs, nobody on. And Chalmers unofficially at 30 pitches. 
we might see a change here before too long. And a pitch thrown in for a ball. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's punched up high. Stuart Long says he's got it. Shortstop puts it in its glove, and it's 1-2-3 for the Twins. Bottom of the third right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the third, Drew Stenzerud at the plate for the Mavericks. And the first pitch by Dalton Hart will be ball one. Dalton Hart on the five, va five. Valiato and Stenzerud will bounce this one past Wallace at the shortstop position. And Stensrud loads up to start the Mavericks out with a runner on. Number 14, Andrew Clausen. Brings up Andrew Clausen, the catcher for the Mavericks. One on, no outs. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball one. One and oh. For Clausen, it was a ground out, his first at bat. And a low pitch brings up ball two, two and oh to Claussen. Claussen the catcher for the Mavericks. Mavericks lucky this year with a variety of players that can play at the catching posi catcher position as we come to three and oh by Hart. Hart at 53 pitches now in the third. Throw to first, forcing Stenzer to dive in. He's got pride stripes on the front of that jersey now. 3-0. Oh. Zach Hangus in the on-deck circle. And a walk to put runners at first and second for the Mavericks. Brings us to Zach Hangus. Hango. Number 11, Zach Hangus. So Hangus settles in, runners at first and second, no outs. Mavericks with three runs in the first and second inning. Hangus showing bunt outside for a ball one. <clears throat> Hathaway with the signal, Hangus steps in. So I got word before we went on air that all three of the programs here for the Mavericks are playing in championship games. Mavericks here with a double A. As the bunt is laid down, there's somebody at first this time, and the sack bunt does its job, moving runners to second and third. Number one, Dayton Bay. With one out now. The A squad is in Bozeman for the Mavericks, playing in the championship game in that Bozeman tournament. And the B squad is in Florence, playing for a championship in that tournament. So all three teams playing for a championship as Dayton Bay will take a pitch inside for ball one. Pitch on the way. This one gets out of the glove of Kolb. Stensrud's gonna come home and the Mavericks will earn a run off the wild pitch. Advancing, Claussen to third. And we're 2-0 and oh on the count. So 
So, one away, runner at third, pitch on the way, and it's upstairs for Bay for ball three, three and oh. Dayton Bay reached off of an error, his first at bat. And a walk as Bay sends the bat to the dugout. Number three, Brendan Hill. Taking us to the top of the order to Brendan Hill. Hill settling in after the signal from Hathaway. Bay at first, Claussen at third. We might see Bay advance to second on the pitch. Nope, they're gonna let him hang this first pitch and it'll come in for ball one to Hill. For Brendan Hill, it'd be a single his first at bat and then hit by a pitch on his last. And we get ball two, so Hart working here early on. Here's the pitch by Hart. And it's low for ball three, three and oh. Second base is open, so if Hart needs to, he can stick Hill on, and that's what he's gonna do. A walk loads the bases as the heavy bat of Dane Frazier comes to the plate, and that's gonna bring in Moyer, and they want a pitching change. He's pointing to Mason Daniel in center field, so we'll step aside. Change is coming. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Change on the mound as Mason Daniel comes in from center field. Dalton Hart will be done, and Taryn Judy comes in to play center field. And Judy will take over for Dalton Hart in his spot in the order. So Daniel inherits three runners with loaded bases, and he'll deliver strike one, two, Dane Frazier, and I'm sure Moyer wanting to make the change before Frazier came up. Don't want to serve anything up for Dane Frazier as he's going to bounce this one out. Shortstop comes up, down to second. No, he's not going to be able to make the play. Runner will advance home. Richardson, or Clausen will score, as well as Bay off of the air, and that'll put runners on the corners for the Mavericks. Number 13, Brad Richardson. And they are going to say it's an error. Trad Richardson now at the plate with runners on the corners. Two runs earned.
And Richardson serves one up into right field. Runner will score from third, and that'll keep runners at first and second as the Mavericks now take a 10-0 lead on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Number two, Stuart Long. Stuart Long now. And Long will receive ball one. The machine called the Missoula Mavericks now in play. 10-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard, bottom of the third. Daniel will deliver outside to bring up a ball two. 2-0 two and oh on the count. Pitch on the way. And that one finds the plate for strike one. So two and one on the count. Two, Stuart Long. Long, a bunt, and a double his two plate appearances. As this one's lifted over second base, it's gonna hop. And Frazier will advance to third to load the bases up for the Mavericks. One out on the board here in the bottom of the third as Bridger Johnson comes to the plate. Johnson to settle in with one out and loaded bases. Here's Daniel with the pitch. Outside for the ball. One and oh. One out, loaded bases for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch by Daniel. Sent foul down the third base line with lots of leg underneath it as it hops over the fence in foul territory. Even count at one. Here's the pitch. And it'll bring up a ball two. Two and one on the count to Johnson. Johnson walked his first at bat and then a ground out his last. The pitch outside and we build to three and one on the count. And you get to this part of the tournament, folks, sometimes you've got your arms already used up. And with the Twins, they are a very talented young team. The walk is going to bring home Frazier. And the Mavericks will have a an 11-0 lead on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Bottom of the third. Brings up Drew Stensrud now. One out, loaded bases, pitch on the way. Outside for ball one. So we've got a couple of little league teams in the building checking things out today. Pitch on the way and this one shot into right field. Right fielder lets it hop in front of him. Richardson tags at third and now the Mavericks will have a 12-0 lead on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Number 14, Andrew Klassen. Daniel now with the stretch and set. Pitch on the way, and this one's upstairs to Clausen for ball one. <clears throat> the sun has decided to grace us with its presence on the championship game. We had some rain earlier, some winds, and really chilly as this one's lifted foul to bring up strike one, one and one on the count.
Daniels with the stretch and set. Loaded bases, pitch on the way, and the 1-1 one, one will turn into 2-1 and one on the count. For Claussen, a ground out his first at bat and walked in his last plate appearance. And a ball pitch will take us to two, three and one. <clears throat> Here's the pitch. And Claussen fouls it back into himself. We get a loaded count at three and two. I've got 32. That's the pitch count for Dylan Chalmers. Here's Daniel. Here's the pop over first. Turcotte comes in and the second baseman will have the second out of the game of the inning. Number 11, Zach Hangus. Brings up Zach Hangus now with loaded bases and two outs. The first baseman will step in for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch and it's over the plate for strike one. Bases remain loaded for the Mavericks with two outs. Here's the pitch to Hangus and Hangus will duck out of the way to bring up ball one, one and one on the count. Here's the pitch. And it's on the plate for strike two. One and two to Hangus. Here's the pitch by Daniel. And it's gonna be a ball. Kolb holds on to it. We go even at two apiece. So Hangus will hold for a moment. As Kolb will come out and check in with Daniel. Tons of respect for the catcher position. They don't get a lot of glory, but they get to sit behind the plate, have baseballs thrown at them all day long. They've got to play counselor to the pitcher and call the game. Here's the pitch, and it's over the plate as Badeau will give us the chainsaw rip, and that will be the side. Six runs for the Mavericks as they lead 12-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. We will have the top of the fourth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Hey, are you gonna try out that new gym? I hear it's really cheap. Not a chance. They don't have group exercise classes with awesome instructors like we get at Fuel. And the owners are in New York City. What? New York City! Mm-hmm. The New York way is not the Montana way, so no way. Fuel Fitness and Nutrition, your Montana born and bred fitness chain. And unlike the others, we never close. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning. Missoula Mavericks lead Lewiston, Lewis and Clark Twins 12-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. It is the 2019 Maverick Memorial Tournament Championship game. Dylan Chalmers back on the mound. And Wallace will send this one foul. Hangus looking for it, but it's going to be out of play for Hangus. Foul ball will bring up strike one. Okay. 
So Chalmers at 33 pitches unofficially. And a bouncer foul will bring up strike two. And I'm not quite sure what the official pitch count is for him before he is not able to pitch this week. This one Wallace will send into the gap. Hill jumps on his bike, rides out, and puts it in the glove. And that'll be the out on the pop fly Number 25, Coy. to start the fourth. Brings up Coy Stout, the home run hitter for the Twins this weekend. He's got two banked over the wall. One of them today against Walla Walla. Here's the pitch by Chalmers. Upstairs for ball one. 1-0. One oh. Pitch on the way. This time, Chalmers will slide it over the plate for strike one, one and one on the count. Inside brings up ball two, two and one for Stout. In the game though, Stout was struck out swinging his first at bat. Here's Chalmers and a foul ball will bring us to two and two on the count. Here's the pitch. Swung on and into the gap. Hill's trying to get there. It's got lots of leg, but it will land at the warning track. Hill picks it up as the runner will make his way to second. And that's a stand-up double for Stout to get a runner on board for the Twins. Takes us to the first baseman, Dawson Bonfield. Bonfield settles in. Fielder's choice, his first at bat as Chalmers delivers over the plate for strike one. 0-1-1 on the count to Bonfield. He's the first baseman for the Twins. A young team are these Twins, but with some good veteran help and some experienced young guys as we bring up ball one, one and one on the count. Here's the pitch by Chalmers, and a swing will bring up strike two. One and two. Chalmers, now with the stretch and set. And it's outside for a ball, two and two. One out on the board, a runner at second in Coy Stout. Mavericks lead 12-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard and Bonfield will be struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Number 26, DJ Ricard. With two outs, we go to DJ Ricard for the Twins. Here's the pitch. And Chalmers delivers for ball one. Looks like we've got a couple of Maverick veterans in the building with James Martin and Drew Leonard. This is bounced over second base and Stuart Long will have it to first and that will retire the side. So no runs earned, a runner left behind, and it stays 12-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Bottom of the fourth. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. MPSN is back to live stream the Montana Legion Baseball AA and State A tournaments this summer. Join us live from Billings, Montana for the State AA Tournament and Florence, Montana for the State A Tournaments, July 27th through the 31st for all the play-by-play -play action of every game. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to sponsor the coverage of the games on MPSN, please send us an email. MPSN, 
Legion Baseball's home for the 2019 Montana State Legion Baseball Tournament. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the fourth inning brings us the bottom of the order. Number one, Dayton Bay. So the bottom of the order, Dayton Bay at the plate for the Mavericks with Mason Daniel on the five value order pitcher's mound for the Twins. Here's the first pitch of the inning, and Day Day is going to take this one shallow into the glove of the second baseman, and that will be the first out of the inning. Number three, Brendan Hill. So we swing to the top of the order to Brendan Hill with one out and nobody on. Hill settling in. Daniel now with the pitch. And it's outside for ball one. Hill, the fastest guy in my book on the Mavericks team. When he proved that with an in-the-park home run a couple of weeks ago, as this one's over the plate to even us out at one apiece. 101. On the count. Pitch on the way. And Hill lifts this one foul for strike two. I'd like to see, I'd like to get a clock out and time Hill. First to second and, I mean, home to second as Hill lifts this one into center field. Center fielder runs up on it. It's in the glove and Judy will have the second out of the inning. For the Twins, brings up Dane Frazier for the Mavericks. Two outs, nobody on. And it'll be ball one to Frazier. Here's the pitch. And Frazier with a foul ball. Brings it up at one and one on the count. Here's the pitch. And a foul ball that's gonna lift up right over our heads and we'll be at one and two. On the count to Frazier. Frazier reached off an error his first at bat, hit by a pitch, and then reached off an error on his third at bat. One and two. Here's the pitch by Daniel, and Frazier will tip his hat for ball two, two and two. And Frazier sends this one past the first baseman and with two outs, the Mavericks will have a runner at first. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Brings up Trad Richardson for the Mavericks. One out, one on. Two outs, one on, correction. Here's the pitch. And Trad Richardson thought about it, lets it go by for ball one. Trad Richardson, the third baseman for the Mavericks, spends some time behind the plate as the catcher as well. One of three catchers on the, well, four if you include Frazier. As we go outside for ball two, two and oh. And Richardson lifts this one high and shallow down the first baseline. Turcotte races in and puts the foul ball in his glove to retire the side. 
So Frazier's left behind, and it stays 12-0. Top of the fifth, the Twins facing the eight-run rule. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. <laughs> If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network. We've got an update from Bozeman, Montana. The Mavericks A-team fell to Alberta White in nine innings, 7-6. So the A-team for the Mavericks will take home second from Bozeman. Here at Lindbergh Craig Field, we've got the Twins and the Mavericks with... Taryn Judy in the box, Dylan Chalmers on the mound, and it's a 1-1 count to Judy, who is the center fielder, and Chalmers will deliver the third pitch over the plate for strike two, one and two on the count. And a swing will strike out the batter to start the inning. One away. So with the tournament, seven innings on all games, there is an eight-run rule that takes effect in the fifth inning. The Mavericks leading 12-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Chalmers with the pitch to Kolb, and it's going to roll into right field. And that will load a runner on for the Twins with one out. Very young, young, or a very talented young team that is gritty as we saw against Walla Walla in the game before this one. Jose Barajas now will take strike one. 0-1-1 on the count. One out, one on here in the fifth. And Barajas takes this one off the bat. Hops in front of Frazier, shallow in right field, and that'll be runners at first and second now for the Twins. Number 15, Mason Daniel. So with one out, the bottom of the order at the plate for the Twins, Mason Daniel. <laughs> Chalmers sets in. And the way, as we get time called, now Badeau will put us back in to play. And as the way I understand it, as long as Chalmers stays under 80 pitches, he will be able to pitch on Thursday against the Royals if need be. Foul ball will take us to strike one on Mason Daniel. Daniel will fly out his first at bat. Chalmers delivers high in the zone for ball one, evens us out at one apiece. One and one. And we come to ball two now. Two and one, one out, and a runner at first and second. Barajas at first, and Kolb at second. Here's the pitch, and this one's lifted into center. Hill comes up, and it'll hop in front of him. Hill not able to get a glove on it. They're going to wave around the runner. Kolb, and a run will score. Base hit in an error is how they're going to score that. Here's the pitch and a bouncer picked up by Bay. Bay not able to handle it. He'll get the throw to first just ahead. And the runner will be punched out. Braden Turcott 
on the play. Two outs. Runner at third now for So we go to Tyson Wallace with the score. Twelve to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Two outs as Wallace is at the plate. And Wallace will look at three and O oh on the count. Runner at third and Mason Daniel. Here's the pitch, and it's inside. No, Badeau will say strike one, three and one on the count. Two outs. 12 to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. And this will bring up ball four and walk Wallace. So with two outs, that puts runners on the corners. And Coy Stout will come to the plate. Here's a dangerous situation as Stout has got a heavy bat and swings it well. Runner at first is Wallace. Daniel at third, two outs. Dylan Chalmers on the five valuable pitcher's mound steps on the rubber. Claussen now set behind the plate. Chalmers now steps off the rubber and then back on. Here's the pitch. Swung on, and this is popped up high. Claussen's gonna try to get to it, but this is gonna land in the seating on the first row. And we'll have strike one to Stout on the foul ball. And the little kids digging for that baseball. Here's the 0-1. And this one's hit at Chalmers. He'll duck out of the way. The ball bounces into center field. The runner scores from third. And that puts runners at first and second for the Twins as it's now 12 to three with two outs. Brings us to the first baseman, Dawson Bonfield for the Twins. With two outs, two on. Top of five and First pitch by Chalmers to Bonfield is over the plate, strike one. Bonfield, a fielder's choice, and struck out. Those are his two plate appearances tonight. And this one's sent into center field. They're gonna wave around the runner. Hill will make the throw on the way home, and Claussen will not get the tag in time as Wallace will score from second. And it's now 12-4. Brings up DJ Ricard for the Twins. And they are close to wiping out that eight run rule here in the fifth. Here's the pitch. And Chalmers delivers over the plate for strike one to DJ Ricard. Here's the stretch and set. Outside for ball one, even count. Here's the pitch by Chalmers now. And a shot over Stuart Long's head. They're bringing the runner around from second. Here's the throw and it won't be in time and the eight run rule is erased as Stout steps on the plate to make it 12-5. Now 12-5 on the scoreboard as Chalmers will deliver ball one to Taryn Judy. The Twins blasting their way back into the game here in the top of the fifth with five runs. Here's the pitch. Inside brings up strike one. One and one on the count. Here's the 
Here's the pitch. Swung on, it'll bring up strike two. One and two on the count. Chalmers at 74 pitches unofficially. Here's the stretch and set by Chalmers and he'll step off the rubber to put runners back at first and second. Bonfield at second, Ricard at first. One and two on the count to Judy. Here's the pitch. And a swing will end the side with the strikeout. Five runs earned off of six hits and we go to the bottom of the fifth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Warning! Warning. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning. Warning. This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Larchmont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the fifth inning and what was a runaway, now a game where the Twins racked up five runs in the top of the fifth to make it 12-5 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Stuart Long will lead off for the Mavericks, so that means four, five, six in the order here in the bottom of the fifth. Mason Daniel will throw his first pitch of the inning and he'll be outside for ball one. Daniel held the Mavericks off for the first time in the game in the bottom of the fourth as we get ball two now to Johnson. Johnson with a bunt, a double and a single with his three plate appearances. As Long takes this one over the third baseman's head and the Mavericks will have a runner loaded up at first to start the inning. Number 10, Bridger Johnson. Takes us to the left fielder, Bridger Johnson for the Mavericks, one on, no outs. Johnson settles in. Here's the pitch by Daniel. And Johnson patiently lets it go by. Johnson had a ground out his second at bat and then he's been bookend with walks his first and third. The 1-0 now. And Johnson sends this one into right field. The right fielder comes up, puts it in the glove and that's one away in the bottom of the fifth. Number five, Drew Stendrud. We go to Drew Stendrud now for the Mavericks. The designated hitter. And we've got, looks like Dane Frazier in the bullpen warming up for the Mavericks. They've also got Trad Richardson down there as the first pitch will come inside for ball one. One out, one on, bottom of the fifth. Here's the pitch now by Daniel. And it'll come over the plate. The throw to second is made, but there's no tag. And Stuart Long will get the free base off of the strike pitch. So the walk off at second now with one out, one and one on the count to Stensrud. And that will come in the dirt for ball two, two and one. Stendrud, field his choice, his first plate appearance, and then singled the next two. Two and one. Long at second. Here's the pitch by Daniel. And Stendrud pumps this one high. Second baseman is back, puts it in the glove, and that's two outs. 
number 14. Long holding seven. at second. We go to the catcher, Andrew Claussen with Stuart Long at second and two outs. And Claussen will take one inside for ball one. Claussen a ground out, a walk, and a fly out in his three plate appearances tonight. Here's the one and oh. And Claussen will take a slice for strike one. One and one. Zach Hangus in the on deck circle. Here's the one and one now. And Daniel will step off the rubber as he stares down Stuart Long. The game within the game, as they say. Here's the one and one now. Upstairs, ball two. Two and one. The stretch and set by Daniel and the delivery. And Claussen puts this one over the head into right field. Here's Long around third. On his way home and the Mavericks will get the walk off win in the fifth off of the Stewart, or I mean off of the Claussen single. Mavericks are your 2019 Maverick Memorial champions with a 13 to five win, five runs or five runs off of eight hits and three errors for the Twins with four left behind. The Mavericks saw 12 runs off of 13 hits, one error, and six left behind. Mavericks will go on the road this week as they will be in Billings Wednesday and Thursday. We will be alongside with the Missoula Prep Sports Network. We'll talk to you on Wednesday night as the Mavericks are your champions of the Memorial Tournament. We'll be back right at, we'll talk to you on Wednesday night, folks, from Billings. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush. MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. We'll